911. Yeah, hello. Uh, my name's Jim, and uh, I'm at uh, 146 uh, Carson Avenue and Jamestown Street or whatever. And I came to get a taco, and they're closed. And then I came back, and my car's like a bunch of pieces are missing on the car or whatever. I'll have an officer uh, to your location. All right, Slay. Hey, we got a cop. Hey, we got a cop. Look at that. I'm just going to stand right here and let them look at it and try to figure out what happened without me interjecting. Are you like the police or something? Yeah, I am the police or something. How you doing, sir? Oh, uh, I'm like, I'm, I'm like pretty good and stuff. Well, let, let me put my vape away. Like I, I came down here to get like a taco or something over there at the, at mom's tacos. Okay. And, uh, I was there for a while and, and like they said that they were going to be open on the, on the phone, on the phone, or, like the app would tell me that they would be open. And I went up there and the whole thing was like shut down. And, uh, yeah. and I thought it was going to be a good spot to, I thought it was their parking lot because I couldn't, okay. I'm just going to take, I'm going to take the notes uh, here. Is this your All car right. by the way? Yeah. Yeah. This is my S2000 and like, there's like pieces missing on it and then now like there's like the tires okay. are like completely flat on it i can't like drive it away so they took the doors hood and trunk yeah they took like the the hood and the the trunk and the two doors and i think they were like trying to get the rims or something but the the rims are like i guess they're like because i have like the locks on them so they can't get oh, the, the wheel locks? yeah they yeah. couldn't get the wheels off of that's it smart. so that's I th good i think they got mad and they like slashed the tires or whatever oh man so you, this happened when you're over trying to go over to the taco stand? Yeah, cause like on the on the phone app it said that they would be open, but I went there and and they weren't open and and the whole things like shut up and then I couldn't talk to anybody and then there was like a local person that told me that hey man like uh, is that your car and then there was like people that ran off or something but okay. yeah and they said like they said like they stole they steal parts of cars off all the time but I thought this was like a. I thought this was going to be a a, a a place to park because it looks like a parking lot for like the mom's tacos. It's not like yeah. a good spot to park over there. Okay. So you didn't see who did this at all? No, I didn't. I didn't see who did it, but I, I think that there are people that wear, uh, they wear like yellow and, and, and things like that. And uh, it was probably like okay. a person that wears yellow and there's a yellow car that was around here. It might be a him. Okay. But you don't know. It was like a, it was like a yellow, I think it was a Dodge Charger and I like, it was driving around here. I saw like two times I saw a Camaro as well, but I think it was a, like the Dodge Charger was around here and it was, it was painted like yellow. So like, I know there's people with yellow shirts. Okay. But you didn't see them though. Like, no, yeah, I, I saw it was a, I saw the yellow Dodge Charger that was driving on this road. It was on the, well, on the road like twice. Yeah. But you, you didn't see them messing with your car though is what I'm asking. Uh, I think it was somebody who was wearing like a yellow shirt or something that was messing okay. with my car. You think though, you didn't actually see it. Well, yeah, I was over at the uh, mom's tacos, but they're, yeah. but it, it says that they're, that they're right open, but they're not open. What type of taco were you, were you trying to get, sir? Well, I was going to get one of the gringo tacos cause they, cause they had the gringo tacos and they, and, and they're like the, the fried chicken and they have mashed potatoes and they have the uh, corn in them. And then they put like a, like a white gravy on them. And I was going to get some of those, but then they had the the pork chop uh breakfast over there for like it was like 529 or, or whatever and uh they okay, were 529 yeah i thought about going with that one instead but uh i i, I really okay. wanted to get a taco but it was 1 a.m and they said it closed at like 2 a.m or something because i got they do it for like the rush okay the, the drunk rush when they come out of the you know when the pounders games are playing okay and then what so what time did you get here and park your car uh well I want to say it was probably like a, right around 10 p.m. Okay, 10 p.m. Let me write that down. Okay. And uh, do you have any like? Have you like get, made anyone mad? Do you have any enemies, sir? I don't have any like. No, I, I I don't know why anybody would do something like this. Like I've seen it like on the internet, like on the forums and stuff. They, like people have had this stuff happen to them, and like I've seen it on on like Weasley News and stuff. But I've never I've never experienced it before, and I didn't think that would happen. I've seen it in movies. Okay, gotcha. And just, just this is a Honda S two thousand, I believe. Yeah, it's a Honda S two thousand. It used okay. to have the right hand drive, but I had to get it moved over to the left hand drive, and then it has the oh, new custom dash on there. Yeah, I had it converted because it, it still has the speedometer on there that tells you that 
you're in uh, kilometers an hour, so I have to have an app on my phone to you know to let me know that I'm doing miles per hour instead of kilometers. Okay. So did you import this from Japan? If it was on the right side and in yeah, kilometers? it came in from Japan on one of the boats down at the docks. It was the first time I ever oh, been down okay. to the docks before. Okay, how are the import fees on it? Just this isn't part of the report. I'm just curious. Uh, I think that's the guy that probably did it right there. You can see they had like the, the yellow under underglow, and I think that they and they've been driving around over and over again, like kind of eyeing it. And I think that when they come back in, I want to get the steering wheels or the seats or something because the seats are expensive. Okay, well I can't go pull them over for uh, you because you think, sir, unfortunately. Yeah, we need we kind of need hard evidence. Like if you saw if you saw them doing it, then I could go you know pull them over. But just because you are you're just speculating. Well, like they've been like driving around like four or five times, and I think that they're like they're gonna continue to do it because because I th I think they want the the seats out of the car. Okay. Because well, those seats they are like they're leather seats, and they're worth uh they're worth quite a bit of money. If I was oh, to put them on Carlos, yeah, if I put them on leeway or whatever on the internet, like I think that something like that it would it probably go for a few uh like a couple a couple grand a piece. Okay, sir. And do you have insurance for this vehicle? Yeah, I got insurance. It's Morris Mutual okay. Insurance. It's in the glove compartment. Can I get that? Are you going to shoot me if I get that? Because I've seen people get shot about that on, on the internet. I won't shoot you this time. All right. You don't need to get it, though. You're fine. I was just more curious. if you, oh, slay. you can hand this report to your insurance company, and they should be able to, as long as you have the right coverage, they should be able to uh, cover you for uh, theft and vandalism. Well, it's Morris Mutual. They have, like, uh, towing and whatnot, but I don't know what kind of towing package we have on it on that because my dad runs the account. Okay, yeah, like usually they'll have like a bit of like a maximum of like a hundred miles or something like that. Yeah, something like that or whatever. But I don't, I don't, I don't want to take it up to TNC Customs. Why with the TNC Customs? They try to like, they like they wouldn't, they wouldn't help me out and put winter tires on my car last d during the winter. They wouldn't help you? No, they w they wouldn't help me out. So I had to put the like grooves in the in the in the wheels. So like whenever you you're on the your own wheels? yeah, so they grip the wheel. So like if I was on like a snow or ice, that's like how I was able to get traction because they wouldn't put snow tires on there and I couldn't put snow chains on there because they, they said the wheels were too small. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay, so, all right. Well, let me just grab the plate here. Uh, all right, I'm grab sick. the VIN number as well for you. Yeah, and they stole my uh, they stole my spoiler that was on the back. It was like a big wing spoiler too. Was it aftermarket? Yeah, it's an aftermarket one, and, and then yeah, you can see where the the fasteners are on the back. They're like still there. They they didn't take oh, the fasteners, yeah, but they took the whole wing. Okay, I gotcha. Interesting that they just wanted the body panels. Yeah, you usually don't see that. Yeah, the people over there at the corner the other night, they said they told me what well, was last night. Yeah, so it's like the sun is coming up now because like, I can see the sun coming up, but. They told me over there, they said, this is not a good neighborhood. And they said, they, I, I don't know why you would be down here in this neighborhood. They said, it's not a good neighborhood. Well, this is where the taco shop is. This is why you're down here. Yeah, because I was like hungry and I was like coming up from, because uh, I live up in Vinewood and I was coming down here. And and yesterday I was over at the Up and Adam Burger on Vinewood and I couldn't get my car around the corner and I called and, and, and I, I, told, I called and told my dad about it, but they, they called up there and they said, that they would call the police because they said I had to move the car, but I and that nobody ever showed up up there, and I was up there for like a half an hour, so no, and nobody showed up for it, so I couldn't like get it done, okay. and then they had to get it towed home. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> just one more thing, sir. So I just I didn't get it in my notes. Can you repeat what was supposed to be in the Gringo Taco that you were trying to get? Yeah, so like a Gringo Taco, it's like uh, you know like a classic play on like a like a fried chicken like kind of deal, like like it has like fried chicken. And then you have the mashed potatoes and then you have like corn, but you can use canned corn, but you don't use canned corn. You want to use the frozen corn. And then they put the frozen corn in there and they, they heat it up and they put it on top of there. And then they put the, like, like the, like if you get briskets and gravy, like it's got like the, the white gravy. Sorry, sorry. Briskets and gravy? Or no, biscuits yeah, biscuits and gravy. and gravy. Whenever you have the white gravy on top, that's what they put on top oh. of the gringo taco. I'm not going to like brisket and gravy sounds pretty good too. Yeah, sick. That sounds pretty good. Like I, like I haven't had a brisket in a long hand, a well, long term time because my mom and my dad are like trying to get me to have like less of it because they say that, that they yeah. say Jimmy you're always having all way too much of it. I love to smoke a brisket every now and then, you know. Yeah, I haven't gotten into smoking or anything. It's like because uh, I smoke my vape, but I, I've never tried to smoke meat or like anything like on an actual grill or like a, like a barbecue thing. 
I love smoking brisket. A lot, yeah, a lot of people like the brown eggs and, and what, and I, and I can't afford one of the brown eggs, but I, I could probably get a brown egg once I get a better job, but I don't have a job right now. I'm kind of in between jobs. Okay, so you're unemployed. Okay, I'll just write that down. This is all going in the report, sir. Um, so far, I'm up to four pages. Hope that's not a problem. Yeah, we need to have like somebody come out to tow it. Like as I have more mutual insurance, but nobody's showing up here yet to tow it away. But I okay. haven't had, I haven't called them, but they told the people across the street. They told me that I shouldn't trust you guys, but I called you anyway. So you guys can come down here. And then they said you have to get a police report so that then the car can get towed. Absolutely, sir. Okay. Um, you, would you like me to call a tow for you, sir? We can, I can radio that in. Yeah, I need, I need to get my car towed, but then I'm going to have to get a rental. Oh, shoot. It looks like, um, we actually are, we are channels held. Uh, I'm going to give him a call for you. How about that? All right. So, I... okay. Uh, do you have any, any preference on a tow company? We, I'm just going to look through my contacts here. We have, uh, bad B tow, OC tow, uh, that looks to be it. Uh, yeah, bad B tow, I guess. Like, okay. Are, but, are they gonna come down? Are they gonna steal any panels? Because I really don't want them to steal the Honda emblem on the front of my car. Because you know, I, I don't want to have to buy another one of the Honda no, they're, emblems. They're professional. And they take pictures of your car before they tow it, usually. And you oh, can so request I... them to do that. So then that way, you can verify. You know, there's no damage on it after you get it towed. And, and I have low profile tires on here, but they, but they're all flat. All four of them were flat. Cause I think they were trying to steal the, the rims, but they couldn't get away with them and they got mad. Oh yeah. No, you guys got the wheel locks on them. And there's a blue Camaro that was like driving around here earlier. And like when I first pulled in here that they were there and then the yellow charger was here and the yellow charger parked up here and he was here for a long time. Okay. All right, sir. Well, just give me one sec. I'll call the tow company for you. I'll be right back. All right. All right, sick. That's going to do it for me, man. If you just want to arrange all this with this tow driver. All right, sick. All right. Well, hopefully the rest of your day gets better, man. See you later. Later, fam. Well, it will cost you probably $300 to go to uh, Murupak garage. All right, sick. All right, man. Well, there you go. Our car got vandalized down here. He's going to remove it from the premises. And then I am going to call for an Uber. To take us back to our house. We have to get a rental car. Is he going to drop me off here? No. Sorry, man. This is the limit. All right. That was like $9.31. That was really cheap. That was a cheap ride. We could say that the Morse Mutual um, expected this to be returned by a certain time. And they didn't do that. But we're going to have to wait until probably the next day. Uh, yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. So my name's Richard. I work at uh, Escalera Rent a Car Center here in uh, Los Santos, and uh, unfortunately, I've got to put out a uh, well. I got to put out a report because uh, we had a vehicle not returned to us when it was supposed to. So yeah, my manager would like me to go ahead and report the vehicle stolen so we can get it back. All right, no problem. Uh, do you have a description of the vehicle? Yeah, the vehicle itself is going to be a. Uh, hold on, let me get my paperwork here. So I know exactly what, what it is. Cause it's a 2022 Mercedes Benz G63. I think those uh, kids call it a, a G wagon. The name I have in here for uh, the person that is currently operating the vehicle, uh, that would be a James Cricket. Whatever that means. I, I, I think, yeah, C-R-I-C-K-E-T, Cricket. And like, you know, like the little chirp, chirp, <laughs> Cricket. Yep, a little chirp, 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 chirp. Gotcha. Yeah. So James Cricket is the name I have on here as the operator, and then uh, Robert Cricket is the one that uh, that that took it out. We're gonna be looking out for this vehicle, and uh, if we get it, we're gonna go ahead and return it back to y'all. Okay. All righty. Well, we sure appreciate you taking the time today. Yep. Yeah, no problem. We appreciate you calling in. If y'all need anything else, just give us a call back. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Take care of yourself now. Oh my God. Oh, we got it. What is happening up here? Oh, what is happening here? People have guns. They have cops at gunpoint. What the hell is going on here? Wow. They are, they have these cops at gunpoint. 
<laughs> what is happening? I'm just going to sit here in traffic. This is crazy. I'm going to call 911 on them. Uh, 911, your emergency. Yeah, my name's uh, Jim. I'm on the highway on 945. I'm northbound on 13, and there's like a like a money truck on the road, and there's like a couple of like these uh, officers, and these people have them at gunpoint right now. I didn't know if you guys knew that was going on. Uh, no, we don't. It's like I like I just passed a bunch of cops that were out with a like a truck or something, but it's like further north than that, and they they have them at gunpoint right now, and they have their hands in the air. I think they're like robbing them or something. Okay, I'll have off on the way right away. Yeah, they, they're putting them in cuffs right now. It's like uh, there's like a guy and like he's got like a black, like uh, like a like a, a like a beater shirt on, and then there's a guy with a red shirt and he's got like black pants and and then there's like a guy there's a guy that's got like a mask on him and he has like a he's wearing black. I I don't know. It's crazy. But three individuals? Yes, three of them. They probably want to get here as soon as they can because things are getting bad here. They're going to kidnap them, it looks like. Yeah, I'll have off on the way right away. All right, Slay. <laughs> Slay. What the hell is this? What is this? This is crazy, man. This is going to be crazy. They got firefighters at gunpoint as well. Oh, the AI is starting to lose their minds back here. Oh, they are robbing that. Uh-oh. Jesus. I just ran them over. <laughs> I ran them over because he was coming at me with a gun. <laughs> that was insane, dude. There's still people up there. Let's see what's going on. Oh, here comes the cops right here. Yeah, there's people up there. What's going on here? Oh, now we have a cop. Is he, is he after me? That's crazy. Looks like they're fine. They're not at gunpoint anymore. Sir, did you call us in? Yeah, I was up there on that bridge and uh, and there was like a guy, there was three guys and they had guns at, at cops. I gotcha. Okay. Did, um, did you get, did you, did you get a uh, good look at the, all three of the subjects? Yeah, I know what they look like. There was a guy, uh, he had like a red shirt on and black pants. And then like, like I was like, I was trying to come up here cause I was just going to like try to go to the taco stand up in, in, uh, in harmony or whatever. And, uh, and I was stuck in traffic for a while. So I was going with traffic and I pulled up and then they had guns at them. Okay. Did you, did you by chance to see if there was a license plate on that vehicle at all? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of car they were in. I just saw the people with, they had guns, uh, at the two, uh, two cops and then like firefighters or whatever. But okay. I didn't see if they had a car or anything. I, and then and then the guy, the one guy, he like he turned around and he pointed a gun at me. And when he pointed the gun at me, I hit the gas and I ran him over. And and I think he threw to the left. And like you can see, there's damage on the front of my, of my uh, my car. But I hit him. Okay. And then and then I don't know what happened. But like I had to like use self defense to get away. Okay, sir. Do you have an ID on you just for contact? If we have any other questions. Yeah, my name's James. Cricket. James Reggae. How do you spell your last name? It's uh, C R I C K E T. Do you want uh, Do you want to press charges for him pointing the firearm at you? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, because if I can make some money off of off of the deal, that'd be pretty sweet. Okay, what's a good contact number for you? Uh, it's one two seven. Okay, sir. Alrighty, I've got all that information. If you have any other questions or anything, feel free to call 911, talk to an on emergency, or you can call the highway patrol station. All right. Slay. Alrighty. Thank you so much, man. Have a great day. Stay safe. Later, fam. Uh, give me one second, I'll take.
All right, fantastic. Uh, yeah, we How's still have a bullet out for that vehicle. I'm sorry, what was that? Are you okay? We still have a bullet out for that vehicle. They don't have a bolo for the vehicle? Uh, they do. It's still not found. Okay. Sir. So they still haven't found it. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, no problem. All righty. Bye-bye now. Bye. Oh, he doesn't mind random strangers getting in his car either. Uh, yeah. So, like, I was just, I have to, I'm sorry. I was on the phone and, and like, it, and you guys came up. I couldn't talk to you. I was on the phone with the, uh, with somebody. Oh. oh. Is everything okay? What's up? Uh, well, just checking on you. Want to make sure you're okay. You're just sitting on the side of the road. Yeah, I had to pull over. The, I had to pull over the side of the road for, to use my phone because, like, I can't use my phone if I'm like in a, uh, if like I'm in, in like a spot like in between like with the different cell towers. I can't, like, I can't use my phone like if I'm going down the road. I got to pull over. Oh, oh, that's safer you, anyway. You're such a good person by pulling over by doing that. I'm proud of you. Yes, good job, young man. Slay. All right. Well, if you're okay, we'll just, you know, keep on driving. You have yeah, I night? need to go down to, like, uh, I need to go off of Clinton Avenue. Like, if I like, get up the, at the first exit here, I go down and make a right and then a left. And I'm going to go down to the Clinton, uh, like, on Clinton there. They got the, uh, I guess, the LTD. They got a gas station there. You lost me oh, by okay. saying right and then left. I don't know. I don't know my directions that well. Well, I haven't been to the city for a long time other than today, so I'm no use. Yeah, because this, like, is a rental, because normally I have my S2000, but I got a bunch of panels in, like, a, and they try to, like, steal the wheels and stuff off of it when I was down in the city. It was about, like, three or four days ago. What's an oh, S2000? Uh, it's a, a Honda S2000. It's a it's an import car from Japan, and it used to have a right-hand drive, but now it has a left-hand drive system in it because, like, I had to move it over, and we had to, like, completely customize it. Why? Oh. Because like, uh, cause like uh, we're, in a, we're in America and you got, you sit on a, you, you're going to be on the right side of the, of the car instead of the right side of the road. Oh. oh, I've seen people with the other side, the, the postman, the, the left hand drive cars that they use. Why can't you use one? Yeah, but it, it's more like the aesthetic because we wanted to look like an American car because like it came over and then it went down to the port and I never been to the port before. It's the first time I've ever been to the port and and then they came up the shipping container. It was like that. My dad was like, oh, slay. Like, couldn't believe that it happened. Be safe, young man. Drive well. All right. Later, fam. Okay, bye. <laughs> We're actually running out of fuel now. <laughs> just staring at these people. I'm just going to stare these people down. Not going to say anything to them. Just staring at them. <laughs> That's great. This is hilarious. They're doing their Google Maps vehicle again. It looks like. <laughs> it's so obnoxious, especially at night. Is that cop going to pull us over? Because we're the bullet vehicle? Come on now. You know you want to pull us over. Maybe, maybe. Nope. Just kidding. Oh. Oh, there's another one now. Probably going to pull them over. Not me. They're going to pull them over. Not me, probably. Oh, they want them. They don't want us. <laughs> oh, man. Can't win. I'm just going to fly through here at 100 miles an hour and see if a cop pulls us over. This is what it has come down to. A hundred miles an hour down Strawberry Avenue. No one cares. Who cares? I think we've been going for two hours and 25 minutes on uh, trying to get this vehicle pulled over by a bolo. Oh, there goes a cop. Doesn't care. There goes a cop. Doesn't care. Not going to turn around for us. Why would they? We're doing a hundred. What does it matter? That was a freaking highway patrol. Let's just put an end to this. Oh my God. Let's put an end to this now.
Oh man, we got a there, there's an ambulance on the way. Oh, oh shit. Didn't think something like this would be what happened. Didn't even know they had a crash up here. We're sailing 100 miles an hour down the damn thing. That's like, I guess we just, our reaction time's gonna be slow and we ended up crashing into the median as you can see here and we hit their trailer and we're stuck underneath the trailer. This is crazy how this happened. And uh, here's a cop on scene. Well, now they're gonna know. Here's the stolen vehicle they've been looking for. Holy crap, man. Uh, yeah, I think they're turning around. Yeah, this is for us. Holy crap. I was on the on the left lane and then it, and then I just came upon a crash. Okay. Okay, but were they turning around? Were they in the, going the same direction as you or were they did they cross the median to turn around? I don't I don't know. I just okay. I was in the left okay. lane and I hit the guardrail cuz I was okay. trying to avoid the cars. I'm not like feeling very good. Like I feel nauseous and I can't feel my left side of like my body. That is not good. I need you want you to sit still for me. I'm gonna grab a med bag and I'm gonna get a C collar on you for possible spinal injuries. Alright, Slay. Alright my man, the medic is here. We'll get you on the stretcher and we'll get you to the hospital. All right, slay. All right, we All right, got, what do we got? Uh, individual here uh, has possible spinal injury. Cannot feel the left side of his body. I placed a C collar on the neck to keep okay. him from doing any more damage. I had to pry the door open to get him out, and this is where we are. How you doing there, sir? I'm Kimberly with the Rescue to EMS. Oh, sick. Yeah, I... Like I, like I can't feel like the left side of my body. Like I think like something's bro, like broken on the, the left side of my body, and like it's like, like I, I bet like the glass like hit me in the face, and like you know, the the airbags. Mm-hmm. That's okay, all I, well, I remember yeah. after I, I hit the guardrail. Okay, you said your left arm was. Don't you don't feel that right now? All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and split off your arm and leg here so that way we don't get that moved at all. And then I'll go ahead Sick. and start taking care of those cuts on your face. All right. So I, I'm currently conducting a crash investigation. I wanted to inform this wall that we're putting you on the stretcher. I'm currently conducting a crash investigation and you could receive a citation. The citation will be mailed to you, okay? All right, sick. <laughs> it's because I was beating, right, clearly. All right, we're going to get him on the stretcher. We'll get him yep. out there. They're going to get us on out of here and... All right, sir. We're going to get you in the ambulance and we're going to get you down to the pillbox. All right, sick. I don't know how, what kind of crash they had, but they had a, they had a crash of the... They had a, they had a crash of the down. road or something. We put triangles down. They're saying we put All triangles right. down. Yep. <laughs> they're trying to. They're, I'm not blaming them. I'm not blaming anybody. Holy crap! What a crash, though. That was a crash. And I, they didn't say anything about the the vehicle being stolen. So that uh, will be revealed to them here in just a few moments. And now they know black Mercedes Benz was reported stolen by rental company, but they made an error on the paperwork and it was rented uh, out for a week, not a day. So there you go. We're on our way to Pillbox Hill right now. And what a turn of events after three hours and 46 minutes. <laughs> Insane. Yep, here is the emergency room right here. Pillbox Hill Medical Center.